I'm trying to eat healthy, but it's hard when you do a show that's mm -hmm. based around eating Fun pizza. pizza. Okay. Interviewing Broadway stars of all kind Asking the questions that you have pined Grab a slice and you can unwind Cause now it's time for a pizza your mind <laughs> The suit is Neptune! <laughs> uh, oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Welcome to the next episode of A Pizza Your Mind. Today, we have Mars Rucker from yeah. Tina Turner. Tina, the Tina Turner musical. Yeah. Is that, that's the correct <laughs> yes. way to say it. Okay, good. Thank you so much for being here, Mars. Thank you for having me. No, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, before we get into it, I wanna get into the pizza. So okay. we can't say any more. So we're gonna go for the first slice. Cheers. Oh, that's, Cheers. yeah, that's a cheesy Twinkly. coming across piece, coming apart piece. <laughs> All right, Mars. So we're gonna start off with the dough. The dough okay. is the basis of who you are as a person. So, where are you from? Born in Virginia. I then moved to Pennsylvania when I was six, and then when I was eight, moved to Houston, and that is where I lived till I was now. When, when were you first involved in theater? Was that something you, you were involved with when you were younger? No, I did every sport there was in the oh, book. Oh, cool. I danced since I was young, young. Ballet, all that type of stuff. That was pretty much it from there, but I started musical theater and all of it combined when I was a sophomore in high school. As Wizard of Oz, a tree, and then Beauty and the Beast, and I was Belle in that, but I started off as a tree. I think that's so funny because everyone, like the stereotypical, like, I was tree number one. <laughs> like, you were legit the first <laughs> time, you were a tree. A tree, like I was actually a tree. How'd you get tree and then Belle? I don't, well, I don't know. My theater director, Bobby Linhart, was, saw something in me at a young age that I did not see in myself and pushed me to go towards the front. And I would have never thought about doing theater had he not been like, you have something in you to do this. I thought I would be here, but not now. And in this way, like it's not gone any of the ways that I thought it was gonna go, but that's been awesome. Was your dream always Broadway? I wanted to be a music artist and that's still something that is in my life. But no, I ended up switching to doing Broadway cause it, it ended up working with what I wanted to do. It ended up working with my activism and creating my own version of creation through somebody else's words. Here you uh, are. Yeah, yeah, here I am. <laughs> this awesome. is not what I planned. I know. We'll move to the, the sauce now. So okay. that's like your training and stuff. So uh -huh. did, did you want to go to college for theater? I did, and I did. I went to University of Oklahoma for one year, and then I went transferred to Manhattan School of Music. While you were going there, were you always going for auditions? Yeah, I went, oh. <laughs> No, I went for like, I think two or three auditions in all while I was there. I think it was like Hamilton, Once on This Island, and Tina. Like that was it, the three. Rachel Hoffman came to our school to do a master class. And then I ended up seeing Tina was having auditions, but I had class. So I sent her an email and was like, hey, this is like my reel. Is there any way you could help get me in for this? And then the next day was the dance call but she i got an email from them like an hour before the dance call so i ended up having like to get up and it was crazy it was a very stressful morning but absolutely it was a very great lesson for me because it was my first dance call edition i think that i had ever done for broadway like just a dance call so it was like a lot of emotions at once but yeah and intimidating too yes, that, very i mean it is very and it was great yeah it went really well for me Fantastic, we're on cheese now. So Tina Turner, mm -hmm. you, so you, you said you, you liked dancing the 60s, 70s and stuff. Yeah. Did you, did you like Tina Turner? I did, I, I wasn't like a super fan of Tina yeah. Turner, but I was a Beyonce and I knew that Beyonce was very, like her biggest inspiration was mm -hmm. Tina Turner and then seeing her performance with Beyonce, like that's how I remember first being shown Tina was her performance with Beyonce. You got the call? Did yeah. you get a call or email? I did, I got a call. Oh. <laughs> I got a call that I was 
and I kept first, which is a featured dance role yeah. in the show. And then in my contract, my offer letter, it said I was also playing Aileen, which was very exciting. Ah, oh, so Aileen <laughs> is... Tina's sister. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's a featured role. Oh. It's it's a featured role and on then I'm playing Broadway. featured Come dance. Come on! That whole process, you had no time to stress or anything, yeah. because that's what kills everyone in this yeah. business, I think, is just the anxiety and the stress, because you yeah. always overthink it. But the fact that you went through and like you had no time to think. I know, I had no time. But sometimes the room can be so cold and you can't tell that they want you to do well. I could tell that they wanted me to do well and thought I was doing well. And that's when I was like, oh, I feel comfortable to be who I am yeah. as an artist. It's so tough, but your situation, perfect for it was, that. It really Absolutely was. perfect. <laughs> We're gonna play a game. Okay. Okay. Game. So it's like kill, have sex with Mary, but we're doing it with Broadway shows and it is lead, ensemble, swing. First, Dreamgirls, Beauty and the Beast, Tina, the Tina Turner musical. I definitely would choose the lead in Dreamgirls, Tina. So I'll do ensemble, okay, lead, Dreamgirls, ensemble, Tina, and swing, Beauty and the Beast because I wouldn't have to be there every day. Fair enough. <laughs> Ready for three more? Yeah. Cats, hair, cabaret. Ah, oh, I love cats. <laughs> lead, cabaret, Sally. Multiple Swing lead roles. hair, ah. Oh, then ensemble no, cats. No, it's so hard and mad. Okay, well. Which swing, one would you have more fun playing? Other like a bunch of roles rather than I would, just. Man, like I would love to do cats swinging. Cool. So you're gonna swing cats, lead cabaret, and then ensemble hair. Yeah. Right? I'm doing that with like reluctancy. <laughs> but yeah. Wait, one more. Aida, Pippin, Jesus Christ Superstar. <gasps> this is rude. Yeah, absolutely. And disrespectful, homophobic. Absolutely. I'm going to have to do Aida lead because I've done the other two leads and that. Good. I'm going to swing Jesus Christ Superstar because I love the male roles in there. Yes. Like Mary Magdalene, I play, but I'd love to do Jesus or Judas. Yes. And then I'll have to do Ensemble of Pippin, which <laughs> just feels wrong. <laughs> you are the first non-binary person of color mm -hmm. in a featured role. Oh. How cool is that? I'm very excited about it and I think it's awesome that I have this opportunity to be a representation for people who don't see themselves, yet I think it's so disappointing that it hasn't happened before. I just think that the trans people have often been forgotten and so my excitement for this is to give voice to the forgotten. So how, how, are you, how do you want to get the message across and stuff? What is the next step for you from here for that? Yeah, I mean, I have a couple of interviews in the process Good. to get that word out. But also I just want to be and then allow people to be like, oh, they're great. Yeah. And then be like, well, they're non-binary, you know? And so I just want to be who I am and let people see there's a lot of people that haven't been exposed to a non-binary person. A lot of work has to be done because we have been in a system of a gendered society, yeah. a binary society. And so I'm working to show people that we are an inconvenience because we want to be respected. Now it, it, it's happening and this is good. Yes. This is really, really good. Yes. Super good. All right, now we're gonna go uh, with some toppings. I like to ask like, what's next? What do you want? I mean, for you, I mean, you're about to be on Broadway, so <laughs> I feel like there's no next after that. Let's say this runs for a while. Do you wanna just do this for a little bit? Do you wanna, cause you say you want, you write and stuff. Yeah. So where do you wanna go I with that? I am trying to now start a band. I've been brought in for a lot of voiceover work and film stuff. And so that's something that I really wanted to get into is film. I also model, I love fashion. That's something that mm -hmm. I love. <laughs> I love Broadway and it's close to my heart, but I just kind of have a lot of other things that I want to do in terms of creating and artistic things. Mm -hmm. So we'll see where it goes from there. But what's next is Tina, you know? Yeah. Another topping would be advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to speak for the black trans slash trans NB non-binary people. Trust your intuition and don't lead with your ego something I wish I would have told myself. Do not allow other people's perspectives on your art to dumb down your individual greatness. Don't allow other people's 
opportunities and doors that have opened opened for them intimidate you out of stepping into your next journey, your next great thing, and stop resisting. Hell yeah. Yeah. Mars, thank you so much for being here. Truly, thank you. I really throw it up. Catch Ooh. it. Go see Tina, the Tina Turner musical. The previews start October 12th and it opens November 7th. Thanks so much, Mars, for being here. <laughs> Thank uh, you for having me. Of course, of mm. course. Uh, yeah, that's it. Damn. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll pause here. It'll like be a freeze frame. I mean, we could probably do that in editing, but we can also stand, sit, sit here. Good, we got it. <laughs> awesome.